a very lively street in the historic city center of Utrecht in the Netherlands. When you look a bit closer, two things are striking. It is very wide for a medieval street and there is no private motorized traffic. For Google, that makes this street only a thin grey line, which doesn't do its historic importance justice. This street was already part of the main east-west route 800 years ago. It always remained like that, which is clear from these maps from 1675 and 1900. In the 1920s, the streets in this main route were having trouble to cope with the amount of traffic. So the city made plans to widen the narrow medieval streets. All buildings on the right side of this street would have to go. To get the width of this street where that had already happened. Five years earlier it was just as narrow, but this whole block was demolished. The street in the distance is the one we saw before. It got the same treatment, first the right hand side was modernized, then the whole left hand side was removed. It made this route the most important east-west route by the 1950s and 60s. A fast, four-lane wide route right through the historic heart of the city. But it wasn't completely finished yet, there were still some buildings in the way, which were also removed. So motorized traffic could flow freely for a while. Traffic increased so rapidly that many more through roads were thought necessary, giving even more space to motorized traffic with radical demolitions of buildings all over the historic city centre, changing the entire fabric and scale of the city. Centuries old homes were quickly removed and replaced with far larger generic 1950s and 60s buildings. But still the city couldn't cope with the ever increasing car traffic and it became a very unpleasant place to be. But times changed and the new generation turned the city's plans around to the complete opposite. To rescue the living environment, private motorized traffic was completely banned from the city's heart. Streets that had already been widened to make way for the car under the old plans were restored to their original width. Rebuilding houses recreated the original human-sized street pattern. Removing through traffic made a huge difference to the city, even to streets that were not completely closed. Blocking just a few key streets was enough to make this street quiet as well. The city's squares were cleared of parked cars, to become squares where people want to be. All these measurements led to a different type of through traffic, 
which is taking up less space, making less noise, for which the streets are wide enough as they are. And the street we started with is almost wider than it needs to be. A main street for over 800 years, widened in the 1920s, but now closed to private motorized traffic to keep the city livable. <laughs> 